Okay, today Derek has blown my mind. Derek, please explain to us what are we looking at? All right, so we've been employed to do bedrock profiling, bedrock quantity uh, on the pre-existing roads in Social Nguve. So actually, to give you guys a background, the contractor has excavated. You see where all these colors are that Derek has scanned? That is the scanning. And what is the lighter? What is the red? What does the blue symbolize? Okay, so obviously because we're using, let me change the software. We're using the uh, workspace. Yeah. Uh, what we've got, we're looking at the three things all together. We're looking at the GPR cross section. Yes. The same cross section, different pro processing, he'll be transformed. Yes. And at the same time, we're obviously looking here at the Google Match, uh, Google F image, and we're looking at uh, slice depth. At this particular stage, this is slice depth Can of. Yeah. Sorry. So the contractor wants to be paid. Is that bedrock there that he's claiming to be excavated? But here it's the bedrock's deeper. It's deeper. And yeah. put your crosshair somewhere on there. There is a cross on the so solid bedrock. Crosshair instead. there. It's on red. Ah, so wherever there's solid bedrock, the, the engineer can decide if he wants to pay the contractor claim for excavations. Extra blasting, digging or whatever. Wow. This is hard rock. And I mean, you've displayed this on Google Earth. Yeah. And this took you about a few hours to yeah. do half a kilometer. This is yeah. two kilometers. Yeah, we're gonna do two kilometers. This is just a section. This You're gonna do two kilometers. Yeah, but the section. contractor is claiming for 12 kilometers of bedrock. And do you think they will pay? Is that blue uh, deep bedrock or is deeper, it deeper, deeper bedrock? In this case, deeper bedrock because I'd look at the GPR cross. -section. And show me, show me this exact point here, please. You mean on the processing? Yes, on your processing. Okay. Then so I just wanted to show people what... So if you were doing okay. voids... Then not this one. Let okay. me show you the exact this the exact one. Okay. Exact one is... Uh, hold on, let me see which one first one is. Uh, so I don't have this one yet. All I just right. got one, two, three. This is another All right. One. But the bottom line is if you wanted to know where there are voids... Under pipelines, it's the exact same, same principle. principle. So if you had a pipeline running in a road here... You can assume that this could be actually a pipeline. If we do more lines here, we would have this line running that way, it would be pipeline. So you would pick up the pipes and you're quite convinced that there's pipe. But your task is bedrock. only to find bedrock. Yes. And uh, the processing power... Originally, Derek scanned, you did, what, 120 kilometers of roads. Once. Once and it took him four months to post process the data. It's much faster. Now his staff it took them half a day or a few, one hour, one hour, one, hour. one hour to do 400 meters. Yeah. And in the office, the post processing of this, what is it? Two hours. Two hours. So within three hours, with the power of today's software, we are processing stuff for people that is next level. Mm. I'm very, very impressed. I, I can see the cross section of the bedrock. And you can tell me exactly yeah. where it is on Google Earth. Yeah. Very impressive, because, uh, Derek. That's it. Here you see on the, yeah, on I, can the dot. I can see that. Well done.